I get a lot of questions and concerns. A lot of people feel like I'm depriving my kids of their childhood because I feed them a super restrictive diet. But I think once I explain what they eat in a day, what their eating habits are, what I feed them, people are gonna maybe shut up. My name is Nisha and I do what I eat, lifestyle, and motherhood vlogs here on my channel. I'm a registered nurse turned YouTuber and health coach. I changed my eating habits and lifestyle habits five years ago and cured my body of many ailments including depression, anxiety, IBS, panic attacks. I even put my autoimmune disease in remission. I share all of that right here on my channel so if you're interested in that hit that subscribe button down below. I'm just gonna go through the day. So we're gonna start with breakfast. For breakfast, my kids eat what I feel like is a normal breakfast. It's bacon, eggs, sausage, and some fresh berries. They love blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries. And Bonnie eats what I eat, which is usually scrambled eggs. She gobbles them up. She's a fantastic eater. Beckett is three. He's a little picky. He basically only wants sausage or bacon. With his goat milk, he also drinks goat milk. He doesn't tolerate cow dairy very well, and so he's had goat milk since he was about a year old, and he absolutely loves it. If I handed him some cow milk right now, he would throw it down and say, ooh, that is not my milk. Go get my milk. He won't even touch cow milk. So that's what they eat for breakfast every single day. I don't think that's very extreme. It's a wonderful source of protein and some delicious berries. Where's the drama? Show me the drama. Bonnie is also, since she is 10 months old, she still is exclusively breastfed, but she loves food. She's a bottomless pit. If I kept putting food in front of her, she would probably keep eating it. She just is a foodie already. She absolutely loves food. She's a wonderful eater. Like I said, Beckett, three-year-old, asserting his autonomy, his independence. He's got a voice. He's got something to say about everything, <laughs> but he does love sausage. We use Peterson sausage and we also love their bacon. Peterson's is a wonderful brand. I have to order online because none of our grocery stores here carry uh, their brand. Sugar-free and also humanely raised, which for me has become more and more important as I go through this journey of being a meat-based low-carb eater. I just want to do my best. I can afford to support those farmers and so I am doing so. My eggs come from my backyard. I have my own chickens and those girls deliver daily the most delicious pastured free-range chicken eggs I've ever had in my life. Truly blessed to be able to live on a farm. We also have berry bushes on our farm. They are not producing yet because it's a little early in the season but when they do, mm, it's exciting times. Beckett also takes a multivitamin in the morning. We use the brand Haya. We've been using this brand for about a month now. I did a lot of research <laughs> because of course I would love for my child to get all of his vitamins and minerals and nutrients from his food. But like I said, he is three. And so I thought better safe than sorry, I'll get a little multivitamin. I looked and looked and looked. Most multivitamins contain all kinds of fillers and gross things and five grams of sugar per multivitamin, which is just insane to me. That's so much sugar for a very tiny, tiny thing. Haya brand, zero sugar, zero carbs. Best brand out there, in my humble opinion. Another thing I really love is in your box, it comes with a glass bottle glass not plastic love it and then every month after that they send you a refill in this non-plastic packet and you just open this up pop it in the refillable glass bottle and that is just fantastic to me in this day and age it is impossible to get completely away from using plastic but i appreciate that this is a place i can actually do that and it makes me very happy right now haya is offering 50 percent off your first order you go to the link on the screen and in the description and I think that is a heck of a deal so thank you so much to Haya for sponsoring today's video for lunch lunch uh, for us is basically the same thing nearly every single day my child my son loves cheeseburgers 
he could live off of cheeseburgers. It's something he just never gets tired of. So we hand patty our own cheeseburgers. I have a cheeseburger press. I have a hamburger press that I bought specifically for my child. And then we get the deli cheddar, um, cheddar cheese. And that's what he has, a little pepper, a little salt. And sometimes he dips it in sugar-free ketchup. We get the primal sugar-free ketchup. Usually, um, we also use GHQs if we can't find the primal. Also loves chicken nuggets. Now, in our house, we do not use flour. Um, we do not use nut flour. We use pork panko and Parmesan cheese mixed together. I dip the chicken nuggets in egg, dip them in the pork panko and Parmesan blend. I fry them up in avocado oil and then he again uses the sugar-free ketchup to dip them in. Who doesn't love chicken nuggets? I love chicken nuggets. Everybody in this house loves my chicken nuggets. I literally have to buy three pounds of chicken breast otherwise there's not enough because everyone in the house eats them. Bonnie loves them too. Sometimes they have deli meat, uh, pepperoni, bologna, uh, salami. Beckett also loves cashews. They're his favorite nuts. So sometimes he'll have some deli meat, some cashews, and again, some berries. He, he, he will eat all the berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, all the berries. If it's a special occasion, he'll have a banana or an apple. Uh, I don't think fruit is the devil. <laughs> I love fruit myself. I just cannot eat it every single day in excess. I think for kids, it's probably a great option. It's definitely better than candy or packaged food. I'm not against my kids having fruit. They do stay in the berry category for the most part. Like I said, on special occasions, they have fruit. That They have grapes, apples, bananas. I'm not anti-fruit. I know some of you are shocked probably, but yeah, I love my kids to have fruit. That's our usual lunch. And then for dinner, we generally have steak. So I just fry up some ribeyes in a skillet. I put onions on mine and I don't put anything on Beckett's. He wants it plain with a little salt. That's it. Again, very picky three-year-old. That's just what he wants. Uh, he will eat a roasted chicken. So I'll put a whole chicken in the Dutch oven and roast it. And he really enjoys that. He will eat chicken. Bonnie again, will eat anything like literally anything I put in front of her, she will eat it. And then, you know, she breastfeeds, like I said, throughout the day. At bedtime, Beckett will have more goat milk. He drinks goat milk all day long, basically. And yeah, so that's basically what they have for dinner. It's pretty much the same thing all the time. Beckett is three. He's been to birthday parties. We go to church every Sunday. He's been exposed to other things. He, I never say, you can't have that food. I simply educate him on what foods feed and fuel our body and what foods are just special treats. They may taste good, but they don't serve a purpose in making us grow stronger and smarter and be able to run and jump and play and do all the things that he loves to do. They're just special treats. He has had cake before. He doesn't eat a lot. I never say you can only have so many bites. Like I just watch him see how he does and he usually has a few bites and that's it. Uh, there was one occasion he had maybe a little more than his normal amount and he had some bowel issues and he was like, oh, that made my tummy hurt and that was it. And now he just has a few bites if we go to a birthday party. And honestly, at birthday parties, he's more concerned with playing with his friends and having fun. The cake is not the highlight of his day. It's being with his friends and playing and spending time with people that he loves. And I think that's what birthday parties should be about. It's about celebrating and spending time with each other. The cake should be the least important thing about that day. Halloween and Easter, we allow him to have a few pieces of candy. He trades in the rest of the candy. He gets a toy and he doesn't seem to have a problem with that. At church, like I said, he's around his peers and they have snacks. He takes a snack with him. We use the Catalina Crunch cinnamon cereal. I don't know why my kid likes cinnamon cereal. I think that's a very odd one for him to like. I bought him the chocolate one. He didn't like it. He wanted cinnamon. He's that's just so weird to me, but he loves it. So I put him some in his little snack cup. He takes it with him to church. 
Everybody has their snacks. He has his snacks. It's not a big deal. I'm not demonizing foods. I'm simply educating him on what foods are for. I want him to have, and Bonnie, to have a very healthy relationship with food. I don't want food to be the main source of joy. I don't f want food to be the main source of pleasure. I want them to live for experiences. And food is awesome, and I think food should taste amazing. Food doesn't have to come from a package and be sugar laden to taste amazing. And that's what I'm teaching them. Food can taste great and be good for you. And on special occasions, having a treat is fine, but it shouldn't be the main source of nutrition for sure. Beverages I wanted to cover. We don't do fruit juices ever. Um, that's just not something I'm okay with. For me, fruit juice is taking away the actual good part of the fruit and leaving you just with that sugar. And so we don't do fruit juices. They drink water, electrolyte water. We put electrolytes, I use the brand Element. I don't put a full pack in there. They get like a fourth of a pack. Uh, Bonnie doesn't get it, but she will grab my water and drink it. So essentially she does drink electrolyte water, but that's not something I'm giving her. She just wants it. Beckett drinks it a few times a day, especially if we're playing outside. That's the water that he drinks. He wants electrolytes in it. Again, he drinks goat milk throughout the day and Bonnie drinks breast milk throughout the day. And every now and then they will have some tea. If I make sweet tea, I make it with allulose and they'll have some, uh, Beckett loves my tea. So he will have some of that every now and then too. And that's pretty much the super restrictive diet that my kids are on. And for me, I don't find that restrictive. I find it beneficial. My job as a mom is to feed my kids as well as I can. And I'm doing the best that I can and I fault no mom for doing the best that they can. I know we're all doing the best that we can and that's the best that we can do. I don't judge other moms. I mean, it's none of my business what somebody else is feeding their kids. I stay out of it. I don't say anything. And if you're watching this video, believe me, I don't judge at all. I just, it's not my place. I think all moms can get on board with feeding their kids a real whole food based diet. For me, that's not restrictive that's feeding them what their bodies need. Their little bodies need nutrient dense food to thrive. I don't want my kids just skating by on nutrition. I want them getting everything that they need. Amino acids, good healthy protein, good healthy fats. And I'm not anti-sugar. Like I said, I can give my, I give my kids fruit and berries and I think that that's fine. These are the things that I personally choose to feed my kids to optimize their health they are healthy and thriving. They're both brilliant. Uh, they're off the chart on milestones. They have wonderful checkups with the pediatrician. Their growth rate is above average. And so, yeah, I, if anyone thinks this is restrictive, I don't give up. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you smash the thumb on the way out. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it. Bye. Thank you.